Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly just show you guys if you guys are planning on picking up the Acer W3-810. This comes in a 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabyte version. This is basically running the add-on processor Z2640. So it's basically the same that's all the current you know add-on processor tablets that are out Windows 8. This runs full Windows 8. So we'll just kind of go over and so you guys can get an idea you guys plan on buying and what to expect you know what, what you might get in the box again this is the Acer it's got the 8, eight 2 gigabytes RAM uh, it's got the EMC SSD drive so it's not gonna be your more powerful device but uh, it, it does actually pretty good for that processor for what you want to do like any news surfing you'll probably have a few um, uh, might be have a couple lags here and there but it's not gonna be something that out of the ordinary so it's more kind of what you you think you expect let's go take a look here real quick so inside once you open it up as you can see they've got the Acer little quick uh, handout here kind of explains it and it actually comes with its uh, own little Windows key so you, you want to hold on to this that's the, got the key in here and here you go as you see right here it's got a nice little handle there to pull it out let's see what else is in here remember this is this, this is not this is not no Wacom digitizer or anything it's just a capacitive type uh, here is the uh, US version of the charger part again another little booklet kind of tells you about Acer and it comes actually that's pretty nice it actually provide the recovery disk this is only if you have the 32 gigabyte model I think the 64 gigabyte it's got a partition that won't come with the DVD and this one they've I think used up the whole uh, drive so you won't have that uh, less of on a space and again this is the charger so it's just a quick charger actually this kind of looks like I believe like the again this is the Acer W510 if you guys are familiar with that one that was like kind of like the bigger version of this one that was a 10.1 inch frame tablet so this would go spin in here like this uh, it's got a certain way to lock it and there you go it's pretty nice put nice and portable it's not that big so let's put that aside and then we'll quickly take a look at this let's go ahead and we'll pull this open so you guys can take a look and then we'll see just do a quick walk through around it again again it's got the nice glossy screen if you guys like glossy screens as you can see up in the front here it's got the two megapixel camera this has mega two megapixel front and back camera it's got another sensor here I believe this is for the uh, screen resolution not the screen resolution but the adaptive type screen uh, so if it gets you like a daylight or lower the screen or higher the screen brightness for it all the way around it's got a small bezel here which is pretty nice so if you're holding it like this uh, you can still ha get, have a good grip on it without having your finger over and kind of mess your things up and uh, with your browsing and this is nice because if you're uh, swiping it's easier when it's like this I'll, I'll, I'll get that booted up and then show you guys the side has got a bigger bezel here as you can see um, in the front it's got the white trim here as you can see very nice it's kind of, it's a hard plastic feels solid so far doesn't feel like it flexes or anything it's got the hard button here the hardware button I like this instead of the capacitive usually if you see some of the windows it has capacitive and if you touch it lightly it's always gonna kind of go into the screen here on this side as you can see it's got the speakers there's one speaker here there's another speaker here there's for the PSU uh, I believe this should be yeah, your headset here at the top it's got for your micro SD card here volumes are up and down there here you have the your power button here and this I believe would be probably if you had a, a sim card if it was the sim card version that 3g version or 
here you have a micro SD uh, sorry micro USB connector there and a micro uh, HDMI there so that's pretty nice because you have these it would have been nice to see uh, at least uh, maybe a full size USB here it's got the room I've seen it in smaller thinner devices so this you have to carry a cable that's uh, I don't like that but again this is this would be more like a on-the-go device more for reading catching up news checking your email sure you can do that on a phone but since you have a bigger real estate kind of makes it a little bit easier the 8 inch format is kind of almost like the ideal spot for you know on the go devices and it gives you nice real estate and everything the bottom there is no uh, no connection there so let's take a quick look at the back this actually they painted like a silver color it almost makes it look like if it's aluminum type but as you can hear it's plastic so I mean for the price these are going for 379 and 429 379 being the 32 gigabytes 64 gigabytes going for 429 but you can probably pick these up uh, I believe for 349 and 399 check your local stores for these here you see the camera here no flash uh, I believe this is just a little light that tells you when it's on it's got the Acer logo there it's kind of embedded there as you can see there catch that and we've got your Windows 8 sticker with the Intel inside and the, your Wi-Fi this has got Bluetooth so and Wi-Fi so let's I'll go ahead and boot it up and see what um, once we get uh, Windows 8 on this 8.1 uh, 8.1 is going to be geared more for smaller screen tablets so that will take advantage of this size tablet for the screen Windows 8 so far won't have that advantage but we can uh, I'll just test it out. Maybe I'll try to see if I can install Windows 8.1 beta on this. Uh, there is at the moment, there's only certain uh, Windows 8 uh, add-on processors that Windows 8.1 will install. I don't know if this is one. I believe the Windows Acer W510 it can be installed, but I don't know on this, so I'll have to check it out. I'll pause it right here and I'll kind of log it in so that way you guys can um, not wait for all this boot up. So you guys have to wait. Actually, I did it pretty quick. Maybe we can just do it really quickly here. I'll just do next here, and so you guys can get. We'll, we'll do a set here, give you an idea. Oh no, here next, and then we'll just go ahead and leave it on that green, and then uh, we'll just name it Acer since this is just a test device. Uh, we'll connect. Let me put this really quick here. Okay, use custom. We'll see. Yes, sharing. We'll see if everything else is here. Approve. Okay, next. And then we'll sign into your PC. Next. We'll just do a local account. Uh, sign in without an account and then we'll use the local account again we'll let's see we'll say Acer W3 and also uh, the keyboard style on the 8.1 they've actually improved it uh, I'll do another video comparing the Surface Pro with the new keyboard style from Windows 8.1 as you can see it's actually not not slow at all it's pretty it's pretty fast being this does has the EMC uh, SSD drive so it's not uh, your typical faster uh, SSD car, uh, SSD drive but again it's not you know not bad at all for what it is and as you can see here the glare is you know this has a lot of it has a lot of glare and the screen so far uh, when I've seen others reviewing and posting uh, the screen is not the greatest on this it would have been nice if Acer would have actually capitalized on the 8.0 one inch format screen because uh, they're actually the first to release an eight inch Windows 8 device so this is not you know very very slim let me get the compare it so I just show you guys uh, compared to the iPad mini as you can see here just give you guys a quick look how much bigger it's just a little bit longer than the iPad mini there as you can see let me flip this out over here out of the way so you can see there as you can see it's just kind of this 
There is this is a 8.1. This is an 8 inch iPad mini. Uh, the thickness again, there is a difference. It is more thicker on the Acer, but being that it's running Windows and it's got an add on processor and they had to fit in everything, I'm sure this stuff will be getting a lot thinner as time goes by. But for now, it's not too bad. I don't consider it bad at all. It's, it's still you can hold it very nice and comfortably so it's not going to be too much of a problem but like I said most of them and you can see already uh, it's viewing angles on this is it looks it's terrible um, it, you're looking at it straight on there hopefully you guys can catch that as I start moving out it's straight out as you can see there you just uh, gets very bad viewing angles and you can kind of see it's got the old, it looks like the old technology screen. If you look very closely, hopefully, the, uh, you know, actually that, not bad, it rotates very quick, kind of quickly. Actually, nice and quick. But if you can see, it's got a lot of, not pixels, but um, it's hard to explain. It's got a, like a little diffused screen look to it. Let's see if I'll go ahead and... Um, Let's open up. Let me see the news here. Just so you guys can take a look. Let me slide this while that's opening up. See how much battery it has too. And then we'll do the screen. I'm going to go ahead and put a full brightness. That is full brightness right there as you guys can see. It's 1200 by eight, uh, 1280 by 800 on this resolution. So actually the text is not bad at all. If you look at it, it's, uh, hopefully it shows up there. You guys can see on the video there but it's uh not bad at all for being uh you can see it's kind of nice even on the smaller text it's not pixelated or anything it's pretty clear the only problem is uh it's kind of like like crystal type looking on the screen um that's the only thing that i'm not kind of liking on this at all for viewing so and the viewing angles on it is not that great it's got too much glare and um, it just kind of doesn't look nice at all. As this, as you can see, maybe in the video doesn't show. It almost looks like it's got a, like little crystals on it. But overall, as you can see, it's very snappy. Just like your typical atom processors that are out now. Everything is the uh, same processor. So as you can see how very smooth and quickly maybe here you can tell more on the text it's, it's actually the text itself is very nice uh, it's not jaggedy or anything compared to the iPad mini or this kind of has the same resolution as a Galaxy Note 8.0 uh, tablet so I, I actually kind of like that the text is uh, nice and let's see if we can make it um, Nice and viewable. I don't think you can double t tap on this one at all. But let's let's go take a look at. Let me see. We open up the browser. We'll rotate it. Actually, right now it's getting a little bit warm on this corner right here as I'm I'm just starting to use it. So it's probably doing right now a lot of uh, not updates, but actually it probably is updates. Sorry about that. Uh, so it's probably using the processor at uh, full maximum speeds. But we'll take a look at that. But let's see. Um, let me see if we can just go ahead and open up. Oh, let me just go here real quick for you guys. Let me see if it detects the regular mobile browser. Usually the yeah, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't detect that browser for Windows. So let's see if we can find. Uh, let me see if anything has a. Let's see if we can get some video. Just to test out the speakers, see how good they are. This screen itself is looks like it's very fingerprint because there's fingerprints everywhere already. Sometimes you know you notice that things uh, don't show fingerprints that much. Again, this is claiming eight hours of battery life, which uh, which I can see it, it could pull off. Most all of the other ones will pull off that amount of battery life. Let's see if it's having a little, I don't know if it's trouble loading this or. 
again I, I would probably more do another test uh, because I know it's probably running a lot of updates in the background so I'd rather have it settle in and um, then test it out to see on the browser and other uh, let me see if we can do something um, see if it goes to shows the Acer there but as you can see very nice device if you guys are looking for something small to carry around and you guys want full windows 8 this probably be right now your only choice unless you plan on getting like waiting we should have seen more of these 8 inch devices towards the end of the year uh, more I think we probably might see the surface pro tablet and an 8 inch which would be nice Yeah, there it goes. So double tapping. It's got a little bit of lag, like I said, but I think it was more. I think some stuff is running in the background. But the text, uh, to tell you the truth, the text is um, very passable. Um, I agree. The text, if you can overlook the background, the, the actually screen, um, the text is nice. Let's see, there's a video there. We'll tap on that one. And now we see if um, we'll put a hundred percent and see. Hopefully, it'll... it's got a little bit of not smooth as you can see here. But again, I gotta check to see if it's something else stuff is running in there. But actually, right there is smooth. Right there, is smooth video. Speaker is pretty loud. Not loud, but it's, it's, it's a decent. Only if you're actually in an area that doesn't have too much noise. See, we can um, go back out here. Uh, again, this is not going to have the. Well, actually, it shouldn't have. I don't think this would uh, provide the split view because. Uh, yeah, you can't get no split view on this on the smaller device. You'll be able to get split view once 8.8, 8.1 comes out and gets released. So that's just a quick uh, look at the uh, Acer. W3810. If you guys were planning on purchasing it and you wanted to see what you'd be getting, again, the screen is right now the that's probably the only drawback. And this is the screen, uh, just looks too pixelated. Now it's kind of hard, like little crystallized uh, on the screen itself. I don't know if you guys can pick that up in the video. And the viewing angle again is not the greatest, uh, starts to lose the the clearness once you turn it to a little angle but overall nice size you want something for reading looks like the text is very nice uh, that I gotta agree the text on it is very good again like I was mentioning when you're holding it it's got the easy slide from the side menus All right, and, and then on the desktop uh, if you go to your desktop Again, uh, and let's see what Acer's pretty much they haven't loaded any any anything running as you can see the only thing loading up is just your Bluetooth and your uh, Intel graphics driver so that's good they haven't loaded much at all it looks like they've added uh, these might be Acer's uh, applications as you can see here in the corner I'd have to see what they've included but let's take a look at the to see it, how much uh, what space you have on the 32 gigabyte so if you plan on purchasing the 32 gigabyte as you can see uh, you will only get 11.1 gigabytes free the good thing with Windows 8.1 if you use a micro SD card you can store applications there as well so so if you did plan on getting something like that you'll be able to store that and make it part of the drive and load it up on there 
So there doesn't have any, let's see, any videos in here, no. So yeah, this is just a, that's just a quick look. This is, you can kind of drag, same thing, just uh, drag it. Let me see if you can split. I went on the desktop, you can kind of split stuff up. So that's very nice if you wanted to split things up on a 8 inch screen. So that you can have two different screens running at the same time while you can scroll up and down. As you can see there, it's got the tiles. Now you can hit the full screen here. It's got the small lag, but again, for an item processor with what it is, I, I would say this is a very nice. It works very good. Everything is uh, run smooth, as you can see there. So that's just a 